STEAM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, is something that I've been working on and working towards for a number of years now. Something that I'm extremely excited about, not only personally, but also professionally. You think about all the innovations that are happening in our society, the innovation in technology, the innovation in science, engineering, arts. When I started into the National Football League, I wanted to find where I could put a lot of my energy. And while I was in Pittsburgh, I started to see what was coming out of Carnegie Mellon University. I started to dive more into that arena. I found out that this was a massive movement that was starting to happen within the educational realm. I mean, I realized that there just wasn't equity across the gamut as far as people of color getting access to STEAM education, nor were there resources. So it really started to lay out what I wanted to see. I wanted to see awareness that was brought to STEAM. Kelvin Connects is an initiative that has been able to connect with young people kind of early on in their educational journey and literally walk through them through life and be able to do life with them. I started with one my hometown of Mahia, Texas, and then the Barack Obama Male Leadership Academy in Dallas. I mean, while they initiate that initiative of Kelvin Connects and was able to follow a couple young men at the time. When I think about social justice, I'm one that really focuses on the education. That is really my wheelhouse, that is my focus. And within education mentorship, I feel is one of the most important. And it's something that I see is vital to me being able to help the next generation. I am Timothy McCall from Dallas, Texas. I met Kelvin Beecham my last semester in college. One of the faculty at the Barack Obama Male Leadership Academy mentioned that I was at FAMU, I was moving to New York City, and at the time, Kelvin was playing with the Jets. Got on the phone call with him, not really thinking too much of it and 10 minutes into the phone call, he was giving me opportunities left and right. And for me, that relationship has been something that has been so fruitful from FAMU to now working at Goldman and to see that journey, it's been special. My name is Cienzi Cuemo. I was born in Germany and both of my parents are from Cameroon. Before I was 12 years old, I already had lived in three different countries and they're all shaped like how I view the world, how my outlook on life. Sinzi was much like I was on the college campus. He was that way at, at Bamla. He was a leader. I was 14 years old when I joined the Barack Obama Mellership Academy, and that's how I came into contact with Calvin Beecham. We really connected outside of the realm of football, and that's something that we really grew into like this relationship over a decade now. I graduated within the pandemic in 2020. There was like hiring freezes. I made a decision to kind of reinvest back into myself and do that through education. So that's something we had a discussion about it and he connected me with some people at SMU. Right now I'm, I'm actually doing my MBA currently right now at SMU and that's all through like the network and the relationship that I had with Kelvin. At the end of the day, it's a relationship. I mean, I had no idea where these young men were going to go in life. I just knew that I wanted to support. Mentorship, specifically within STEAM, is necessary. I think it's something that the more you get guidance on, the better you become at it. Education is always the way to elevate yourself, that everyone has an opportunity to kind of strive for that. You might not be part of the 1% that makes a professional league, but there's always opportunities for you to strive for in the realm of science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and the arts. Representation breeds hope. It just makes it more attainable. Seeing black VPs, black CEOs, black heads of marketing, et cetera, in business, it showed me that, okay, I can go into business and be successful because I've seen it myself. Everybody can't go pro in football, but everybody can go pro in STEAM. I think it's true. I think it is something that our young black boys and black girls should recognize and realize. And for me, representation does matter.